So we have the Evolution X OS version based on 6.7 with the latest update. Unfortunately, the August security patch was partial. So as they said, the July security patch is again out, but Evolution X version is bumped to version 6.7. And yes, I've installed it on a Mi 11X, basically Poco F3. By the way, it's official version, so available for many devices. So if your device has an unofficial or official build, go for it, you can install this thing. I'm going to talk about some few of the things which are included in this version, some changes which you get in this version. The first one which we have is in the game space. If you're able to notice here, one thing is actually changed here. The name is notification mode. In the previous update, this thing was not present, but with this new update, we found this option. Notification mode basically will give you the option to customize your notifications. For example, you can use the heads up option. You can use the retigger option or you can use the dynamic option. So options are here for you, which you can use it on advice. So let me show the game space UI as it is not the pixel one which you have in pixel devices. Let me just try it out in this app because I don't play games. So you already know, I think so as most of the users are viewing me from a long time. This is a game space UI which we have the time, date, day, battery and the RAM. Everything is already present here. And if with this, you can also see the RAM management here. By the way, I don't believe in numbers. I believe in real performance. I always say this thing. So yes, this is what I believe. Another change, another thing which we found here in this version is the fonts. The new fonts, which basically is Oppo Sans, which was not included in the previous update, I think. So it's also included in this version, including that Mi Sans, which is a MIUI font, basically in MIUI 13, which you get. And some of the other fonts are available here for you. San Francisco, which basically kind of iOS fonts. And this is what I'm using right now on my device. And I didn't found any issues so far. This is what I'm using on my device, including all these changes which you found in this Evolution X latest version. We also found one more change. If you're able to notice the status bar, the Wi-Fi icon has a number written, which basically give you this thing. As you can see, the number four, if you are able to notice or if you found this thing in other custom rooms, for example, in paranoid Android and maybe some CAF based rooms, you can enable this option called show Wi-Fi standard icon which was not available in the previous update. So with this new update, we found this option too. Including that, if you are able to notice, we have approximately 24 styles of Volti icons available, which you can use any one of these. There are many icons available. If you use dual SIM like me, and if you have enabled the vibration icon, the notch might kill these things. So I'll rather prefer you to use the very low kind of Volti icon, which will just give you the V so that the space will be there. We also have some battery icons options available, which includes many battery icon styles. So whichever you feel comfortable with, you can use that option. The battery styles include landscape styles. We have some portrait styles, even iOS styles options are also there. This is about those status bar customizations, but including all those major changes, which I just saw you, uh, just I shown you other than else, there are no major changes at all. Almost all the things are same here. You can see ignore window secure flags as expectedly application download option is also present. And some of the things which were available in the previous update are already present here. We also have some lock screen customization, some useful customizations in lock screen where you have lock screen charging info, etc. Let me show you one more thing. If I move on to the gestures and system navigation, you can customize the navigation bar pill to iOS style if you're able to notice what I'm using right now. And you can even hide the space behind that, that navigation bar pill. So that might be really helpful for you. You can hide the space under the keyboard if you want to, or you can use that if you want to. This is all from today's short and simple video. Link is already available in the description. Goodbye.